from the company that's giving you a way more original pay-per-view the night before with NXT's TakeOver Brooklyn comes a pay-per-view full of Raw and SmackDown rematches with just slightly different tag partners and wagers. SummerSlam! In a world where good guys can be bad guys, bad guys can be good guys, and the Bellas can be whatever the they want to be, prepare to choose your sides in this battleground of a pay-per-view where payback is inevitable. See what I did there? Upset that battleground ended 15 minutes early? We'll prepare for an edition of a fourth hour this Sunday with 10 matches in the lineup, yet somehow the tag titles will probably still see itself in the pre-show again. The tag team titles are on the line in a fatal four-way match, which is basically two-thirds of the Elimination Chamber tag match and without the chamber and there's going to be no elimination. So whoever pins whoever gets the win. Speaking of two-thirds, watch as two-thirds of two of the three most destructive teams in the past years clash once again, with no real prize, glory, or even motive besides the idea that not being able to settle the score the next night because patience is virtue. Meet the Wyatt family, with only one man in the family actually with the name Wyatt. Huh. A faction that's reforming for the sole purpose of keeping Roman Reigns out of the main event. Tag on as they go against the Shield. Two men whose bond is so strong as brothers, it'll keep making the whole WWE Universe stop caring about John Cena's heel turn, instead for one of these two to turn on each other. Witness as the Divas Revolution reaches new heights as all three teams go head to head to head in an elimination tag match with nothing on the line because that title ain't leaving Nikki's waist until she finally reaches past the number of she who shall not be named. Still not satisfied? Then we got some more rematches for you, as the feud that just won't die gets another non-closure climax, as Randy Orton takes Sheamus again. Speaking of matches the WWE refuses to let go, watch as Ryback defends his title against Big Show. Um, and The Miz in a triple threat for a title that curses more wrestlers than it helps. And if you're not done with more deja vu, watch as Stardust, Wade, Bad News, King Barrett, and Neville wrestle for the 400th time in the past three months, but this time with an actor who can jump real high. And if that's not enough free match action for you, get ready for the two main attractions. First, Seth Rollins and John Cena square up again, 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 again. But this time it's for both their titles, so it's totally new and different. Join John Cena on his quest for the 16th title reign, and the person standing in his way is honestly only one man, and his name is John F***ing Cena. But that's not all, because in the main event, for the first time, on a SummerSlam card at least, it's Brock Lesnar taking on The Undertaker in a classic grudge match where the audience isn't sure who really to boo because we all hated Lesnar for ending the streak, and a lot of us has gone over it. Suplex City's becoming a thing, Lesnar's sort of a good guy now, and The Undertaker took a sweet time to decide when to finally get revenge. Starring, Got Your Nose, Vince's favorite, Ned Stark and Robert Baratheon, The Dixie Mafia, The Walking Dead, The One, Future Power Ranger Villains, The NX3, The Other One, Kill Steen Kill, and Vince's least favorite. Summer Rematch of Mania Slam. Oh yeah, and Dolph Ziggler's back, in case you were wondering. Dolph Ziggler's back, and he's here to defend America? Lana? His ending or new contract?